every now and then I see an ad on YouTube that makes me kind of confused. And one of them went a little something like this. The thing with creating a smoke-free Canada is that it benefits everybody. It's the people who are currently smoking, they themselves benefit, but it's also the people around them. A totally smoke-free future for Canadians means a lifestyle change. This is going to have a big impact on public health. Just the people you see walking on the street, I think to myself, I have a message for these people. I want them to know that change is coming. Now this ad isn't inherently odd until I saw this little snippet of text at the very end, which says RBH is a subsidiary of PMI, also known as Philip Morris International, one of the largest tobacco product producers in the world. This made me obviously quite suspicious as companies do not typically buy advertisements to tell people to stop using their own product. So after going through the internet and finding an international campaign, which has been flagged by the World Health Organization's Framework Convention on Tobacco Control, all to answer the question, why does Philip Morris International want the world to stop smoking? If you don't smoke, don't start. If you smoke, quit. If you don't quit, shame. This is the unsmoke movement slogan. And you may have noticed the last part says, if you don't quit, shame. And by that, they mean switch to products such as IQO acids, which is rumored to stand for I quit original smoke and others. These are called heat not burn products. The difference between these and cigarettes is they create aerosol instead of smoke. And the difference between these and e-cigarettes is they use real tobacco. So what is Philip Morris International actually doing? Well, in 2019, they launched the campaign called the Year of Unsmoke, in which they said, some countries have banned smoking alternatives. Others regulate heated tobacco in the same way as cigarettes. By doing this, smokers are being denied the opportunity to change to better alternatives. PMI's stance is that these products are safer than smoking and they help you quit smoking altogether. The World Health Organization Regional Office in Europe published a report in which it urged governments to prevent health claims by heated tobacco products, or HTPs, regulate the contents and disclosures of contents of HTPs, and apply measures regarding the advertising, promotion, and sponsorships of HTPs, all in accordance with Articles 9, 10, and 13 of WHO's FCTC. Another regulator is the American Food and Drug Association, which has forbidden PMI from advertising these these products as safer than cigarettes, or that they are a secession device, meaning that they can help you quit smoking. Although you wouldn't really know that by the way PMI has been talking about it. For instance, if you go to their website, to the section called Smoke Free Life, then to an article called Top 15 Myths About Smoke Free Alternatives, where number nine poses the question, are heat not burn products and vapes better than continuing smoking? Which is answered in bold red letters as yes. Philip Morris International made a 137 page report. In it, there is a survey in partner with Pavada, which found that 83% of people surveyed had a positive response to smokers who would otherwise continue smoking cigarettes, should have access to accurate information on smoke-free alternatives. And the company's chief operating officer said, there is currently a tremendous amount of misinformation circulating about smoke-free products. So if that that is all true, where's PMI's accurate information that these products are safer for you than cigarettes? Well, weirdly enough, there doesn't appear to be any. In fact, Philip Morris International's own research sent to the FDA proves the exact opposite that there is no difference between IQOSs and regular cigarettes when it comes to lungs or the depression of immune function. The unsmoke campaign, along with these new non-smoke alternatives, made the World Health Organization's Framework Convention on Tobacco Control, the Global Center for Good Governance in Tobacco Control, and Stopping Tobacco Organizations and Products to publish a 14-page report titled The Dangers of the Unsmoke Campaign, which has highlighted many of the initial issues I've talked about along with others you might not have even thought of. The Unsmoke campaign has neglected to talk about the idea that these products could be used in smoke-free areas, 
since they create aerosol. It also stressed the use of these products to youths, which PMI has said that these products are for adults only. Their own research could not provide any evidence that youths or young adults who are not users or former users of nicotine products would not find IQOSs appealing. The report went on to compare these products marketing as safe, as the same as when tobacco companies marketed light and mild cigarettes as safe or as an alternative to quitting. The report also created a tobacco company's timeline of public deception. Philip Morris International says they are making this change because we have a commitment to society which expects us to act responsibly. The only problem with this statement is their whole history happens to exist. One of PMI's, along with other major tobacco companies, commitment to society has been to produce products that jeopardize public safety and then spend an insane amount of time, money, and other resources to hide the health consequences, stopping governments from creating regulations through propaganda campaigns, independent scientists, a lot of lawsuits, and in the 1990s, tobacco CEOs lying under oath. According to Campaign for Tobacco-Free Kids, Mark Hurley, in every country where we have looked at, in lower and middle-income countries, in Eastern Europe, Latin America, Africa, and Asia, we have seen companies like Philip Morris International and British American Tobacco aggressively advertising to kids. The IQOSs, which remember, are strictly supposed to be for adults only, have undoubtedly been advertised to the general public, which shockingly includes kids. Here are just a few examples. Uh, there's an ad in Germany, a shopping mall in Bulgaria, the hilariously named Shut Up Beach Bar in Romania, some fancy cars in Russia and Ukraine, and then there's the sponsorships with Ferrari, a culture event in Switzerland, a creative hub also in Romania, a lot of fashion magazines and other events, and then of course being a new product in the 21st century, they they have their own brand ambassadors. The best way I could think of of finishing up this video is from a direct quote from PMI's former CEO, Andre Kalantzopoulos. In May of 2019, the literal year of unsmoke, he said, and I quote, our combustible tobacco portfolio remains the foundation of our business. So that's the story behind the real reason why one of the world's largest tobacco companies wants you to stop smoking. Maybe we can call it aerosoling or something?